and Brenna behind us. Whatever the case, there is a problem with Natalis. I know. He's honest. We must think of it as a challenge. What does Your Excellency make of John Natalis's promotion? A truly masterful stroke. I wonder who's behind it? Ha! Allegedly. Nobody. We're about to witness a great event. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's go inside. It's now or never. In recent weeks, we have deliberated extensively in Vizima on who is to succeed to the Temerian throne. Because the fate of Foltest's last child remains unknown, we could not reach an agreement. Unable to reconcile the interests of the esteemed Temerian houses, we have no choice but to divide the country into provinces along the barony's current borders. This cannot be, John Natalis. Temeria stands between Nilfgaard and the north. It must be a strong and united realm. I too would wish it so, Your Majesty. But when Foltest was cut down by an assassin, the country's very heart burst. I have learned that Anais Lavalette is currently in the hands of the sorcerer Deathmold. Clearly you have yet to learn of the slaughter that occurred today in the Kedweni camp, King Radovid. Yet there is hope if the child lives. I shall do everything in my power to find her. Simultaneously, I wish to announce that the commander of the Temerian Special Forces, one Vernon Roach, is officially a wanted man. All privileges appertaining to him as an officer of the realm are hereby repealed. To the matter at hand. The document describing the Charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the Charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Mary Gold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Merigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanzerville will be condemned to death. Sheila de Tanzerville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Merigold doesn't know what she's talking about.
have to get Sheila! <laughs> <laughs> 